Hello everybody, welcome to Impressive Image Maker channel. This is Toshiyagi from beautiful little island Okinawa, Japan. I'm a photographer and shot this image for a long time ago, 35mm black and white shooting and um, I got this image but uh, I colorized yesterday and uh, this is the layers I add colors like um, well background models color then uh, catch light everything so on well and uh, I have this pencil drawing type image by Adobe Photoshop use filter called find edges Today I'm gonna um, make something interesting, well illustration type image maybe. I'm gonna try to get something different image, impressive image. Well let's get started. Okay, first of all I'm gonna uh, combine all the images, all the colors, layers together. Now select all the layers together. Oops. Wait a minute, I have this original Gaussian blur image, so I'm not gonna combine this one yet. Okay, so instead of this, except this image layer, I'm gonna combine, well, well uh, make group, except this pencil drawing type image and uh, original Gaussian blur image. Flatten this group image. Button. Now I got this base image and uh, original Gaussian blur image. Well, which is this is the uh, change blend mode divide now 20%. But as a matter of fact, this is normal image. But I got some Gaussian blur. That's what it is. Okay. Then I change blend mode to divide to add the original image shows this kind of like a fog filter or something like that. Looks like it. Okay, just I'm not going to use right now. And uh, this is pencil drawing type image. So um, uh, what I can do is just check, first of all, I'm going to check change different blend mode of this pencil drawing type image. Let's see. I'll show you so many expressions. Overlay. Hmm, luminosity. Yeah, I kind of like this kind of pastel colors. That's kind of interesting. Not bad this divide effect lighten up because of the backlit so that goes well with backlit kind of shiny from the behind lighten up some backlit and that looks good nice effect huh and also this overlay effect this is kind of interesting too mm, let me try this luminosity effect how it's going to turn out. I'm kind of curious because I colored background and uh, her t-shirt kind of light blue. Let me see turn on this divide um, Gaussian blur image. Now change blend mode to this is Dokken. Hmm, that's interesting though. Original Gaussian blur only 3% but uh, when you change blend mode it changes colors like lighten some touch magenta wish then the screen has a little bit more yellow overlay vivid look at this pin light does have some kind of pastel colors luminosity this one has same maybe yeah, not much difference well how about if I change pencil drawing type image, hmm, it doesn't change much. Okay, in this, uh, in this case, I thought this Gaussian blur image gives something different, but I don't think. No. So what I can do is 
Well, it's kind, kind of confusing if I have this Gaussian blur, so I'm going to delete this. I'm going to use this. Yeah, delete. Then just original base color image and uh, pencil drawing type of image, change blend mode to luminosity. To fix this kind of illustration type of image first, make group, then uh, duplicate this group. Now I'm going to flatten this image. And then uh, break this group. Now move this drawing out of group. Then delete this group now. Now change the rename. Okay, from here. Okay, bring back this blend mode of the pencil drawing type image. Go back to normal. Then turn it off to keep it. Now I want to use this luminosity effect layer. A little bit color is thin, so I'm going to make duplicate this layer. Then one up top, change blend mode to multiply. We're going to get a little bit dark colors. Very interesting image. I'm going to march down. Then let's see. This is almost hmm, illustrated image already. So now I'm going to move this luminized effect layer as a base image. I'm going to move this one down. Then change this base image, color image, change blend mode to, well, first tone down, now it's 35%. That's of grains, dust, but it looks some kind of drawing type of image. We got some saddle colors, that's an interesting effect too. Just tone down opacity down but let's see change okay I want to make illustration type image so okay this colors pretty interesting so vivid color burn yeah kind of interesting huh okay uh, I'm gonna duplicate this base image then one is just bring this one back to normal then just turn it off, turn off to keep this base image. Then uh, this luminosity effect layer, effect layer is kind of saddle colors. I got this dark colors, so I'm going to keep this image. I'm going to make group, then flatten, oh, duplicate this group, then flatten this image. Now we got a uh, pretty strong color image, huh? This one is luminosity effect layer combined to the base image changed to color burn, which is pretty vivid. Nice illustration color, I think. Now this is very interesting to me, so I'm gonna, well, I want maybe smudge this image. So I'm gonna make, well, change name. First of all, okay, this image come, uh, come from luminosity effect layer with color burn effect on base image. Combine this one. Now I'm going to duplicate this layer. Then let's see. One of this, I'm going to smudge red while well, drawing to this little pine gloaming and evolve. These are nice to smudging. So smudge first of all from Evolve. Okay, I'm gonna smudge all the image so we don't see grains. First I'm using the Evolve brush, smudging tool. Okay, I'm going to try some detail. Change smudge to little pine. Let me see this smudge to gloaming. 
let me compare it to evolve oh we evolved so fast we evolved got uh, some texture of the edge of the brush has more texture in it so maybe this is interesting it does have texture more sharper edge yeah you see these that's nice yeah you see one of each strokes this may be easy yeah look okay we are like forehead using a gloaming maybe don't need much texture of the brush so just smooth out to smudging yeah then change to evolve so you're gonna get some kind of texture yeah interesting isn't it nice texture of the brush look at this look at this this is very interesting kind of nice mmm well well yeah that's nice well i can touch up later in details and uh let's see no okay now overall it's fun let's see let's see turn it off this let me see this base image okay turn it off this group just keep it then this is base image change blend mode to okay about linear burn let's see 50 then I'm gonna add okay I'm gonna add mask okay invert mask now just leave it this way and I'm gonna add layer now I'm gonna brush paint brush is drawing to evolve again then pick some light yellowish white real close to white then let me see if I add some here then I'm gonna reveal this well let's see same evolve I mean the gloaming okay that's for now yeah kind of rough pastel color image huh well I guess almost done now we have all right now this is today's subject original base well actually i original is black and white i add color to colorize this base image today and i made this base image and the pencil drawing type image change the blend mode of this pencil drawing uh pencil drawing type image blend mode change to luminosity to make this image this pastel color image then i made this pastel color with normal image change to color burn to get this image so this is gonna be the base image today's base then i smudged this um, because of this grains and stuff i smudged this base image 
To get this image smudged, now we got some brush texture and stuff. So actually, this is the base image, and I add original color base image with mask to get this much dark side de uh, detail, like a shadow area, and uh, well, mostly shadow area, shirt and uh, face. Then I add this outline black lines, lighten up with the white. Add painted white, same brush texture of the Evolve to get this image. Well, almost uh, everywhere is texture of the brush is overall. Well, that's it for today. This is it. Well, thank you for watching my video, and I hope this movie is gonna give you some kind of idea for your creative work. Like uh, making an illustration from your photograph and get some pastel vivid colors and stuff. Well, thank you again, and uh, I really appreciate for you guys' support. And uh, you guys have a nice day, and see you next time. Bye now. Ciao.